Hi everybody and welcome. I think this is going to be a really fun challenge that each one of you can take part in and do your own thing. Um, I'm creating this in Rebel 6 Pro and what I've done is started off with a new file and I have filled that layer, let me close this, with a solid color. I have a layer that I'm going to be working on directly above that so I added a layer and then what I added was an overlay and to do that you'll choose file, import image and then open up um, a texture of your choice. Uh, for this one I use kind of a watercolor background to get started on. Now I'm going to begin by doing something on the imported layer or the uh, texture layer that you see here and I'll right click and choose clipping mask and what I'm going to be doing is actually painting with the clipping mask. So I'm in my watercolor uh, brushes and I've chosen some of my beautiful tree brushes that I'm uh, going to be using here. And of course you can use anything you want to uh, create this. But I'm going to start off by uh, holding down the D key which is the pause diffusion key. And it means that it's going to um, pause the diffusion of this until I uh, in, disable it and then the diffusion will begin. So you can see with this particular brush, this is in the watercolor brush category, and I want to come up to my panel here and show sliders. So I'm going to choose pressure and um, I'm going to choose uh, length. Now if you don't see everything that I see then here, then remember to open up that little options fly out and you can show sliders and get pressure and length. Now I want lots of water in this particular one so I'm going to uh, bring up the water setting a little bit here and I'm just going to start painting in some of these trees on a layer, on this new layer here. And uh, I'm going to, when I like what I have here, I'm going to select the D key and let that diffuse a bit. And you can see at any point I can stop it by selecting the D key again to stop that diffusion. Now in the tilt option, I have tilt on my um, properties here. And I'm actually going to select Tilt and I'm going to bring the flow of that watercolor, meaning the way that it's going to flow on the canvas when it's wet, in a downward motion. So you can see that when I paint with it, I'm going to start creating that look of drips and drops going down as I work here. And at this point, what I'll do is add a few more trees in and then stop the diffusion. And I'm going to leave it something like that. What I will do now is I'll go ahead and combine these two layers by holding the shift key down and then holding the merge layers. And now what I have is my layers merged together. At this point, I'm also going to open up something called visual settings. Now, visual settings is important to watercolor because it gives us some of those uh, different effects that we want, including drips and granulation. Now, at this point, I'm going to actually stop the drips and disable that. And I'm going to actually add a new layer again and I'm also going to import a new texture. So File, Import Image, and I'm going to take a look at some of my other options that I have here and pick another one and choose Open. And I'll resize it so it's filling up the entire canvas and select OK. And again, I'm going to add a new layer directly above the layer I just 
collapsed and on that overlay we'll right click and select clipping mask and again I'm going to pick a different brush here and I'll go down to some of my favorites and I'm pick up this one called the tree 33 and I'll make that brush a little bit larger here and I'm just going to start painting in some of this background and what I think I will also do here is I change the position of that layer just a bit here and so so those trees would appear in front of the area that I'm actually painting in now and again I'm going to select the D key and let that diffuse a bit and then stop and then paint a bit more and I think I'm just gonna leave it right where it is now maybe do a little bit of color down in this area and let that diffuse a bit and stop with the eraser key I'm going to now put in a few little brush strokes just to add some more interest to the background area and to create some distance. When I'm finished with this, now I'm going to go ahead and combine these two layers. Now I've merged those two layers together and now I'm ready to start uh, my next layer. And what we're going to do here is do a little bit of work down in this lower part um, of, the, of the image. So again, I'm going to go ahead and um, create a new layer. And I am going again to add a background, so import image. And this time I'm going to be using, I think I'm gonna go with this one here and import it. And again, I'll resize that image and select OK. And this time, again, I'm going to select Clipping Mask by right-clicking on the layer and going to my new layer here. And I'll begin by, again, adding some additional uh, tree shapes into this area. And I think we'll let that stop diffusing now. And at this point I think I want to let that diffuse a little bit there and run. And then I'll pause the diffusion. And I'm going to go back now. We'll, we'll go ahead and combine these two layers and hold down the merge layer option. And I'm going to go back and let me see where I want to do this. With lots of opacity, lots of water, and we've got pause diffusion on. It's a little bit big. And I'm just going to let this kind of run down from this point and let it go and see what I get. I like the way that's flowing through there.
And I think that's pretty effective in terms of getting the watercolor or the waterfall effect in. It's dripping and I'm just going to let it flow a little bit and then I'm going to pause the diffusion and now the last part of this would be bringing in that gold background so again we'll go to file and import image so at this point I can drag the gold background to any position that I would like um, within the image and what's real pretty is the way that it picks up you know the different um, areas of the uh, trees which I really uh, really like this particular effect now I can also you know move it to different areas so if I don't like what I see I can continue moving it up And I could also just create a clipping mask at this point. And you'll see how the clipping mask is picking up these trees in the, in the foreground area. And I think that that works pretty nicely. I can also bring the opacity down on that layer um, if I'd like to do, uh, work on it that way as well and go a little bit further. There are quite a few different ways that I could interpret this um, to create and that appearance of gold coming through, um, you know, by moving the layers around and experimenting with various clipping masks or just keeping the layer um, not as a clipping mask but just playing with it in terms of the position that I add it. And you can see, you know, the best effect is definitely using it as a clipping mask above different layers. And let's take that off and just go back to maybe this layer here. And that encompasses those beautiful trees in the foreground. Let's take that off and move it down a little further. And apply a clipping mask here. And I think this one is quite effective as well in terms of, um, you know, really nice contrast and then adding the gold uh, more towards the background. So the idea of clipping masks here would be to find, you know, an area that, you know, is suitable and that you feel is the most effective in the overall piece. And I think I, I really kind of like this, that gold effect in the, in the foreground with the trees and then the, um, the waterfall. And what I can do now on the waterfall is actually add a layer mask and then uh, maybe with a nice airbrush here and working with, uh, w working with black. I can go in here and just erase some of this waterfall so we get that feeling that waterfall is in back of these trees. So this is a challenge and I, I hope you have fun with it. Um, remember that you can interpret this any way you would like. Golden waterfall uh, and just have some fun with it. I hope you enjoy it. Take care.